another 12 hours from our flight. <laughs> we supposed to have done this a few weeks ago or, you know, but as you can see, we already packed our four bags of um, check-in or yeah, check-in luggage. We have final um, bike man box. Oh my gosh, it took us four times to pack, pack and then pack and then yeah. But come on, I'll show you our uh, Xterra card that we bought last June. when I start practicing driving for a girl's perspective it's easy and um, since it's automatic <laughs> and then one thing um, I like on this one is the seat in front which is uh, kind of elevated and um, and the seat also in the, in the back because uh, I tried to do it the passengers at the back passenger seat before so uh, I actually like it because I could see the view outside so um, pretty much this is the car that we really needed and to, one thing I like in this car too is the um, back because we could store a lot of stuff as you can see we have our toolkits here so yeah and uh, we have how many mileage all uh, 240,000 yeah it's got a little over 250,000 so on it. yeah um, for me uh, it's just for a practical reason and minimalistic reason I don't really need a luxurious car I just need a practical car that we could use day by day so that's my point of view of our new car. Thank you. Okay. Cindy gave you her opinion of the car and some of the things she liked on it. Then I'm gonna go through and give you some of the things from kind of a guy's point of view. That I like the fact that it's the SUV. It's got a decent size that we had an exterior for a long time. And it was uh, a Gen 1 exterior. So it had a lot more headroom and such in it without being overly big. But it was a little bit underpowered. It was a little uh, inline four cylinder. Uh, it was actually a trans mouse, transverse mounted engine so that it was mounted sideways, not back and forth. <laughs> Yeah, I'm watching what Cindy's doing with the camera. Part of what I like about it is this actually has a 3.3 liter V6 engine. It's actually in pretty decent shape when we got it. That so far we've had it. Uh, it burns about a quart of oil a month, but for an engine this old, because the car is a 2001, so it's a 20 year old car. And for that age, for that mileage, I'm pretty happy with a quart a month. He and I went through it and changed the oil. Uh, oh, no, we didn't. Because we actually looked at it, and the oil was in. When we first got it, the oil was in excellent shape. Uh, yeah, when we're gone, you may want to change the oil. Okay, good. It's in the front there, not good. But we actually, we actually did bore scope for one of the cylinders, and there really wasn't that much deposits. There wasn't that much in it. 
So we said to heck with it. The only thing that we did have to do is there are two there are two engine temperature, intercoolant temperature sensors that were bad that we replaced those. And other than that, we haven't done anything to it. Uh, again, the oddball part to it, you've got to remove the plenium to change the spark plugs. Three of the spark plugs are buried underneath here. Two of them you can, with some serious work, can get to. And the third one in the back, you just flat out can't get to. But I've kept an eye, eye on the fluids, and it's been running mechanically great. That the other week, uh, my son was moving out of his apartment, and we mounted a trailer to it. Again, the exteriors came factory uh, with a mounted hitch to them. The receiver is mine that it's actually a multi-ball receiver. I've got the balls in the in the back. We've had this up to Sedona, uh, down to Casa Grande. We've been quite a few places with it. And it's held up to, it's got decent power. It's got pretty good power with the V6 in it. When we were toting that trailer around, it wasn't a big trailer, but it held more than enough. The one thing Cindy and that had a little bit of trouble with is the braking system is set up for having trailers. So the, the brakes are a little bit touchier and a little bit heavier duty than she was used to. So we had a few um, whiplash type stops. But I like it overall. It's a great vehicle. And the fact we're going to be starting to be out of country more, it's probably just as well uh, uh, the perfect vehicle for that. So. Sorry. <laughs> I'm working in. <laughs> it's not following my instruction. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. So it's going to make an interesting comparison that we're looking at getting a multicab when we get there. And so I'll kind of link the two videos together if we do this, that we'll do another one with a multicab uh, if we get it. But that's kind of my take on it. So it'll be interesting to see what the difference between her take and my take is. Okay. <laughs>